In today's video, I am finding the best kids futsal player in the country. Make sure you watch until the end because this tournament is crazy. I am here at the Pokemon Futsal Youth Cup National Finals by England Football and today I'm taking W's only. I'm the best manager in the world. I'm taking this very seriously. Look at this dude. As you guys know, I have played with some of the best futsal players in the world but today we are finding the best boys and girls futsal team in the country. I have been challenged to manage one of the teams and help them win today's trophy. But before we get into the semi-final, it was time for me to challenge some of the players for myself. As you guys can tell by how well this tournament is set up, it is the best futsal tournament in the country and I spent some time watching the girls play who were very, very good. To find out more about Pokemon Futsal, make sure you click the link in the description and go to MasterTheBall.com. It is semi-final time, Leicester Futsal versus Salah Futsal Club. Let's go. Hands up, we'll take you off. Yeah. Hands in. Yeah. One, two, three, One, two, three, seven. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back with some futsal content. Of course, London Movement Futsal Club is on the off season at the moment, but we're back very soon for pre season. But I've been seeing your comments, so I had to get some futsal content going. And today I'm manager, and that's a very good save. Speaking of me being manager, I'm there on the bench in my suit. By the way, tell me, what do you think of the suit, man? Tell me in the comments below. Um, but yeah, of course, I do want to make it very clear, I am neutral, all right? I'm neutral in this match. Of course, Salah were very kind enough to let me um, uh, give ta tactics and stuff like that to the players, but I'm very neutral and I'm just trying to find the best kids futsal players in England. And it's a very good start. The talent is looking very good. Oh, unlucky there, unlucky. By the way, I do want to address some, address some of you guys' comments recently. Um, I've been seeing you ask me, oh, very unlucky. I've been seeing you ask me, where's the futsal matches? Where's the futsal matches? Um, sorry, I'm trying to commentate at the same time. You guys know what it's like in these commentary uh, match videos. But yeah, we are back very soon, guys. Oh, step over. Oh, very unlucky. But yeah, I wanted to give you guys a video of me being a manager. Um, very good save there while obviously there is no futsal matches but as I said multiple times now this season we are back with pre-season and I am here in London not in Brazil I'm here in London playing for London Movements FC all right you guys have been asking so yeah I'll get into the details of all of that stuff in another video but this is about me becoming the best manager in the country all right let's do this I feel like I've addressed everything some very good futsal here Oh. Eric, Eric, Eric. There's some great talent on display here, man. There's some great talent on display. Before this semi-final match as well, I was watching some of the girls' matches, so they were very, very good as well, as you guys saw earlier on in the video. But Salah has started very well here. Um, it's good save from the Leicester goalkeeper, though. He's uh, thrown it out. Nothing's come of that, unfortunately, for Leicester. By the way, Leicester, very good team, man. There's some good players on their team by the looks of it. But Salah... Do seem to be enjoying a bit of possession here. Got the ball hit in the back, passing it round nicely. Number seven in the middle here. Uh, number ten, I believe, Corey. I believe his name was Corey. Hopefully, I haven't ruined that, bro. <laughs> oh! He has hit the crossbar! 
He's absolutely lit the crossbar, but he's he's just lost the ball. No. Oh my gosh. My first game as manager and I'm 1-0 down. We can't go out in the semi-final, surely. That's why we love Futsal. Hey, put LDN in the comments right now, man. Oh my gosh, guys. All right, we need to fix up. But yeah, player, manager, whatever it is, these Futsal matches are always entertaining. How's my team hitting the crossbar and then five seconds later it's conceding? It's why, it's, this is why Futsal videos are just the greatest, man. Anyways, good save there from the Leicester goalkeeper. Salah need to do something here, man. We need to do something here to get back in this game. A good interception. Oh, look at that! Yes. And just like that is 1-1, one, one, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me in the comments right now, what is your score prediction? Don't cheat. If you get it right, I'm going to like every comment, all right? Tell me in the comments below. Um, of course, these matches are a bit less than, like, for example, the London Movement's um, Futsal Club matches, because obviously it is youth futsal, so it's 18-minute halves instead of 20-minute halves. Good tackle here. Another very good tackle. And it's heating up, man. It's good. It's good, it's very good. I'm just like that on the bench, like it's heating up, it's going to. But yeah, 18 minute halves and the clock doesn't stop. So yeah, um, in our matches, that's what keeps the time going for so long, the clock. Oh, great feet! Oh, but it's a good tackle, it is a very good tackle. Uh, the standard here is very good, man. I need some water just to try to keep up with this commentary. <laughs> um, good defending there. Okay, let's drop the ball here. Um, oh, very, oy, that's very nice, but good defending. But Leicester gonna hit us on, a, on an attack here. Shot! One minute! Hey! Hey, got one minute! Stay in the game! Hardly any time left in this first half, and Leicester have upped it, so Salah needs to just hold on. We need to just hold on for the rest of this first half, to be honest. But yeah, see it out at 1 1. There will be time for one last chance. All right, half time. And we're trying to play out from the back, little silly things, okay? It's not the time or place for it. So a bit of game management, try and see it out. You've got to stay in this game. Don't dilly dally with it at the back. As everyone said, get rid of it, get rid of it. You guys are good at holding the ball up as well. Get up more goals and well, see it All right, a very, very needed half-time team talk there because Leicester Futsal were doing very well at the end of that first half. So we need to up it. We do need to up it if we want to get through this semi-final. I, I, look, my debut as manager, I have to at least make the final. Let, I would love to win the trophy, but I have to make the final. Little switch up on the camera angle, and that is why! The switch up of the camera angle is because we just got our second goal of the game. Let's go! Well done, Salah. Very good tackle there from the Leicester player. It must be said that goal was a little bit against the run of play. I'll be perfectly honest with you guys, it was a little bit against the run of play. Because Leicester played very well. Very, very well. Good throw there. Oh! That would have been a very nice goal. Alright, let's put the ball here. So it's a good split ball, but it's been defended very well. But he's got a, he's got a nick there. Salah have done well to um, retrieve the ball. Hey! Good, good, um, good recovery. Very good recovery. Unlucky there from Leicester. This is end to end, man. This is crazy, bro. Um, Salah with the ball here. Unlucky. That's it, draw him out. Keep going, keep going, draw him out. Shoot. Salah with a free kick here, the coach has told him to shoot. They've drawn out the players to make space, and it's it's a little bit wide, it is a little bit wide. Unlucky there from the Salah player. Okay, right, this is very good, man. This is this is some, some good play here, honestly. Oh, amazing feet. Oh, unlucky. Boys, half court, Get half court. So the Salah coaches have told the players to play half court, which obviously is self-explanatory. It's basically like, don't go past the halfway line. Once they get in your half, boom, it's our ball. But until then, just let them have it. Let them pop it round in their own half. My team, London Movements, we play half court a lot. It's a very good tactic when you're trying to see out a game. And that was just a little 50-50 there. The match is very competitive, two very good teams, so it's going to happen. And both players got on with it and shook hands, which was amazing. The sportsmanship at this tournament was really good, man. It was, it was, it was lovely to see, honestly. Anyways, Salah need to try and hang on here. They need to try and hang on. Number three here is running down the line. Good defending. The goalkeeper's coming out. Hey, no, what a game. What a game this is. That has been given as a foul, though. Hey, fair play to the goalkeeper, man. You can see it's all... Look, they're trying to become the best team 
in the nation. Best futsal team in the country, so they're gonna throw everything they have at this game. It's a massive tournament, which is why I'm so gassed that they let me be a manager for this team. Very good, very good uh, ball roll. Well done from the left of the goalkeeper. And as you see, I'm clapping there on the bench. I weren't really saying too much, you know. I was a bit nervous. I was like, come on, boys. Like, they know the tactic. They know what they're doing. They just got to see it out now, man. Not long left, as you can see. Oh, it's a tacti tactical play. Salah has got the ball exactly where they need it. They've got it exactly where they need it. They might see the game out here and get through to the final of the, of the Nationals. I feel we've done it, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, I've made it to the final as a manager. Let's go. So my first win as a manager, which is amazing. But before we get into the final, it is time to watch some of the girls play. As you can see the girls players are amazing but it was time for the boys final. This is going to be extremely difficult because we realised we was very short on players. Yeah so what if we've got five players only? You with your hay fever, you can't see out your eye. Wait are you able to play? Yeah. Oh, yeah is that? Wait so one of our five players? <laughs> one of our five? Oh my god. Oh my god. So we've got four and a half players. Yeah. <laughs> Alright we're about to play the final. Um, we've got no substitutes. So I'm a bit nervous, but how do you think we're going to do? Jump if we're going to win, yeah? Jump? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the moment we have all been waiting for. The final. Durham County versus Salah Futsal. Let's go. I've coached you about six, seven years now, okay? You have done me proud, but this is one extra, okay? Yeah. Can you go and do it right now? That will be one of the best, best moments of my coaching. So it is the final, the final. Let's go, come on. Come on, let's do this. Two very good teams, two very well-deserved teams to be in the final of this tournament. They started very well though. It's a great save there from Kane, um, the Salah goalkeeper. He's good, by the way. The, the Salah puts out team is very good. He can play for for my team. <laughs> Speaking of which, a very uh, another very good save there from um, Kane, the goalkeeper. Okay, but Durham look like they Durham are dominating this game so far. I have to be honest with you guys. Very good one-two. Good save there. Very good save. Okay. Um, Durham got the ball here. They're playing some nice stuff. They're playing some nice stuff. Of course, it does have to be mentioned. Salah don't have any substitutes. Um, it'll, yeah, just lack of availability on the day, which is difficult to deal with. Um, but yeah, so Salah, I think Salah are going to be playing half court. Number nine shoots there, good block. But yeah, I believe Salah is going to be playing half court for this game. He did speak. Oh, he's hit the post there. He has hit the post. But yeah, I spoke to them a little bit about it off camera playing half court. It was, yeah. Because that, it looks like that would be the tactic because Durham looked very good, man. They look very, very good. And we need to reserve the energy of the Salah players because, as I said, no subs. Number nine is going to get there ahead of him. Their number nine looks like a very good player. Another good save from um, the goalkeeper. Number nine again got the ball here. Oh my gosh, give me a replay. That goal deserves a replay. Bowie slapped it, bottom bins. And right, we've got a player that we've got to deal with, you know. We've got a player we've got to deal with. He's very, very good there, number nine. Oh, but we're back just like that. Oh my gosh, give me a replay. We got a kick in straight from kickoff. He's rolled it, slapped it left foot off the put. Hey. Show some love right now in the comments to Salah Futsal, yeah, for that goal. Show some love right now in the comments. And also tell me so far in this tournament, what's been the best goal so far? Tell me in the comments below. Mm. That was a banger. That was an absolute banger. And he's just got on with it as well, we hardly celebrated. If that's someone from my team, like if that's Dario or Tarot or someone, they're doing backflips and everything for a goal like that. <laughs> crazy, man, crazy. Anyways, sorry, I'm waffling, man. I'm just, I'm just I'm into this game. Not long left of the first half here. Um, it's been a very good first half so far. Number nine's on the ball, he's a problem. Oh, very good, very good, very good defensive play. Then number nine's a problem, man. He's got the ball again. Last chance of the half. Good save. So half time of the final, I honestly don't know who's gonna win this game, but 
Tell me in the comments below who do you think is going to win the final. If you get it right, I'm going to like your comment. Second half, let's do it. All right, second half. It's funny because I say I don't know who's going to win. Obviously, I'm watching it as a viewer. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, on the day, of course, I was there. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. But watching it as a viewer with you guys, which is the same with my matches, sometimes I genuinely forget what happens on the day, which is why I'm so excited while commentating. I literally, I'm here with you guys watching alongside you. Do you know what I mean? Anyways, um, early free kick here for Durham and it's gone over the bar. Uh, number nine has intercepted a, a, a throw there. It's a very good save though, goalkeeper's recovered. Number nine, number nine's causing us some issues man, he's a very good player, I've said it again, I've said it again, but he's a very, very good player. But that ball has gone out of play. Um, possessions here with Salah. It must be said, I do think Durham so far have done more, but it is a free kick here to Salah. Oh! Just as I was saying, Durham have done more so far in this match. Salah win a free kick and score a banger. Hey, Salah's two goals in this final have been top quality, you know. Top quality. Very good play there from Durham's number 18, but good defensive duties there from um, number seven from Salah. It's been given as a free kick. Durham, another good save. It's another good save. Can Salah hold on and give me my first trophy on my managerial debut? Come on, boys. Second post there, someone could have been there, you know, someone could have been there. That's what I do as a player, you know, sometimes I just take a bad shot, yeah, but if it goes second post, I'll be like, oh, so, why is no one there? It's so, it's cheeky, man, but his was genuinely a pass, I can see that. But for me, sometimes it's just a bad shot. <laughs> Anyways, um, Derham on the volley there, unlucky. We might do this. Boys and girls, we might do this. We actually, I might get a trophy as manager and win the Nationals. Oh my gosh. Scoop here, nice look. Give me a replay right now. That's one of the best goals on this channel. Scoop, across, nutmeg flick. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You see earlier I was saying to you guys, tell me in the comments what do you think is the best goal of the tournament. I think it's that. It might, you guys might think something else, so tell me in the comments, but I think it is that. Oh my gosh. Wow. And just like that, it's 2-2 and momentum's with Durham again. Good save, another good save. And oh, he could have stored that on the follow up and got away with that. Oh no, I need, I need this trophy with Salah, man. But, as I said, I am neutral. I'm just talking from a managerial perspective. If, if Durham win it, honestly, I feel like they deserve it. So I'll be happy for Durham as well. But, there's going to be one more chance of the half... One more chance of the game. Oh my gosh, come <sighs> What a final that was. Oh my gosh. We were about to find out who is the best boys futsal team in the country and it has come down to penalties. Just pick a spot, okay? It has got to have power, okay? It's a futsal, it's not football. Listen. It's got to have power. At this point, it's just luck of the draw. Salah. Oh, their goalkeeper saved the first pen. Can they get an advantage? 1-0 up. 1-0 up, as you can see, it is best out of three. Salah, good pen. Good pen. If Durham score this, oh, it's, it's a massive advantage. Great pen. Salah have to score this to stay in the game. He shoots. He has hit the crossbar. I'm speechless. I don't get my trophy as manager, but... Durham deserved it, man. It's got to be said. What an amazing event. Congratulations to every single player that took part in the boys' and girls' futsal tournament. Of course, my team didn't get the win, but massive congratulations to Durham County.